Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Darkest Dungeon. I think today we're going to be going and trying to take out the siren here, finally. I spent a lot of time in the cove. <laughs> but we do get a really good Plague Doctor uh, trinket here. 15 accuracy to range skills and a bunch of stun and blight skill chance increases just for a little bit of more stress damage. That's not too bad. Uh, we're a little bit low on money. I've gone ahead and upgraded some of our guys here that we're planning on bringing. Uh, let's see, it's a medium mission. So maybe like a little 16 food will do. 12 torches. I want at least three shovels, so I'm just going to get that right off the bat. And then for the siren, I was given a tip that you need to bring holy water. And essentially buff all your guys up to uh, decrease the chance that you will be, in fact, uh, afflicted by her ability. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, anything else? Uh, maybe one more holy water, just to call it good. Everybody already has trinkets. Yes, indeed they do. Let's go ahead and embark on the mission here. My lofty position wasn't always accompanied by the fear of office. And there was a time when I could walk the streets or raise a glass in the tavern without concern for molestation. Faithful as the tide, one precocious village waif made it her hobby to shadow my every errand. It was charming then. Troublesome later. Hmm. So that sounds pretty much like a siren to me. Uh, the only objective here is to kill the siren, in fact, which is usually the furthest route from where you start. So we're going to go ahead and just go up here. Uh, let's take a look. Oh, a trap right off the bat. How'd you do? Good. God. Fish carcass. That's medicinal herbs. Give me that food. Two food. Ooh. Would have hoped for a little bit more than that. We're going to keep torches high. Just to increase our chance of survival here. Oh, and we do get scouting. So at least we'll be able to see traps up ahead. We know there's going to be a battle in this next room. Let's take a look at this. Barnacle crusted chest. I believe that is a shovel, right? I believe so. Mm, yes. Makes sense. Crest food. Gold. I don't know how worth it that necessarily was to us. Plus stress. Let's go ahead and pop the torch here. Get back up to radiant light. And let's take a look and see how our party fares. We did get the surprise. That's good. That is very good for us. Your blight resist is quite low. What are your stun? Stun resist is also quite low, so I think we start there. As for you, good sir, do we do... Oh, they are Eldritch, as a matter of fact. This also does 25% more damage to Eldritch, however. So I think uh, the Abyssal Artillery is the right call here. Such a bad miss, dude. Uh, Hounds Rush, then. Take out the guys in the back. I don't like the Shaman. I don't like the Grouper. That's good. That's real good. Uh, I think we use Barbaric Yop here. Try to get the other stuns here. It does debuff us, however. And we could just basically kill this guy outright. And I think that's probably the better play here. Provided that we... You know, in fact, hit Iron Swan. How much damage are you doing? 10, 12. Could take out these guys in the back, but they're already stunned. Mutimus. We'll take it. I think that's the best play we had. Barnacle Barrier, that's going to be a guard. Indeed it is. It's going to give you a whole bunch of protection. Stress Wave, indeed. We expected that. 15 stress. Could be worse. I think at this point... <clears throat> What is your stress? Or stun resist? 25%. You can't hit anyone further back. Unless we use breakthrough. How much damage are we expected to do? 4 to 8? That's not very good. Let's go for the stun. <clears throat> Indeed. What are your stun? 50 and 10? Play grenade's gonna do 5 around for us here. 50 and 10. What are our chances here? 119. Plus trinkets. Uh, no, no trinkets to increase stun. Okay. 
Uh, I think we still go for this, actually. I think that's still the best plan of action. And then can we land an Abyssal Artillery this time? Indeed we can. Everybody's already stunned. I think we go for a Hound Rush and try to finish off you. Because you're terrible. Absolutely, we go first. What is yours? 90% now? Okay, I don't think we can hit another one here. One to two, that is going to give us the kill as long as it lights. And now we just have you to deal with. For two rounds, huh? That's not very good. What is your speed is zero? Okay, I think we just go through with the damage here because we can stun you. Oh, 65%. Hmm. We still have a pretty good chance of doing this. Yeah. Indeed we do. Sacrificial Stab, because you are Eldritch. So we get a little bit of damage on you. And then another Sacrificial Stab. Bulmy Vapors or Heal. Um... I think we give our Hellion that increased damage potential so that we can just finish this guy off. We get our shovel back. All in all, we'll take it. Unlocked strong box. What is unlocked strong box? I believe it's anti venom, right? Uh huh. It's not skeleton key because it's already unlocked. Ah, uh, let's just go for it. It's trapped. Of course it's trapped. Damn, we get blighted and we just use our anti-venom. No! <laughs> we continue forward. Pretty... should be a pretty easy fight. We can only stun one, but we can cure the blight off of our Hellion. Potentially the best idea we have. Uh, maybe not. I think we go for the stun, as a matter of fact. And then Sacrificial Stab. So, oh, those misses are really starting to, to catch up to us here. As long as we hit, you're dead. So I think we go for that. Rind for the Old Gods doesn't scare me too much. Because we do have bandage. We have a bandage, as a matter of fact. Uh, you're already stunned, so I think we just go for some damage here. A 10 damage, we'll take it. And the bleed. It's only one point around. But a breakthrough should finish the job here. Actually, maybe our Hound Master will just uh, do some work for us here. Um, what do we say we do here? We could throw a heal, although I don't believe we need it quite yet. Sacrificial Stab, 6 to 10 damage. Or we can reduce the amount of damage you do. I think we go for this. We did get a crit, so it should be a little bit of stress relief. Cure Blight Bleed. We do get that crit. Good dodge on our part. So this combat is basically, uh... Jesus. Settle down, Hellion. Settle down. We are able to pick up everything. Quite beneficial to us. Pack has already been looted. Unfortunate, but... What are you going to do? Pop a torch. We do have radiant light, so we can go ahead and hop on in here. No combat, but also no scouting. Good dodge on the trap, sir. Crate is empty. Everything's looted here, man. Uh, pop a torch. Just so we hopefully don't get... Oh, we do get scouting. We get two curios, four curios along the way here. Barnacle chest. It's going to be a shovel. We can. We've been able to pick up everything so far. Of course, this is going to happen now. <laughs> um. Let's do one of those. I feel good about that. Uh, our torch situation. Should carry us through to the end here. We 
don't get that surprise, which is kind of scary for for our cultist here. We can go for a stun. There are two shamans. I think we go for the stun here. We do land it. Blight resist is really low. It's going to be good damage for us, basically. Uh, they are Eldritch. But we do have... These guys are dead next round. So we're fine there. We can take the damage. The damage isn't too bad for us. Uh, and from here... Oh, I really wish I would have killed you. Potentially should have went... Ooh, you're taking a lot of damage right now. That's scary. Um, speed six. I think we go. Oh my gosh, beautiful heal. A little bit of stress relief, really. and probably still the best option we had there, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, seven to twelve. If it crits, could be an easy kill for us. <clears throat> well, we did get the highest amount of damage we could out of that. And we dodge the attack, so it doesn't particularly matter to us. Um, we may as well crit heal you again and reduce some of your stress. Uh, we could use a breakthrough and just finish this off. I think we do that. Good amount of loot here for us as well. We're still doing fine on food. I think we get rid of the bandage. We don't need medicinal herbs. I feel good about that. It's contents unknown. Let's go for it. Of course it's trapped. We resisted it though. Next room. Free torch. Take that. Why not? Hunger. Everybody eat. We got the food. We may as well use it. And another empty pack? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Uh, pop a torch. Get the scouting chance up. Beautiful. So we do have combat. We do have a secret room. And then it's going to be our boss battle shortly afterward. Not bad. This should be fairly easy. Especially because we got the surprise on them. Uh, let's just keep you stunned for a round. And then I think what we want to do here, we could just go for a second stun, just to minimize the amount of damage we could be potentially taking. 10 to 20 offers us a ooh, fairly good chance of getting the kill, but not quite. Uh, potentially, our occultist picks up. A little bit of stress relief, too. He's not better than when he came in, but uh, it could be much worse. Seaward Slash. Eight more damage to our Hound Master. Don't stress me out, man. 16 stress. So, we could get another stun here. Although they've both already taken their actions. Hmm. Potentially, the buff is better here. Six to ten damage. Alright, kind of expected that. We did get the bleed. Uh, potentially our occultist picks it up. And then our hellion can't quite get there. They can use breakthrough. And they are probably going to go first here. Speed ten. Yeah, they're definitely going for a ceremonial cut. Not too worried about that, even if it does bleed. Uh, let's just give you a heal. There's no reason not to at that point. And then our occultist will pick up the kill quite easily. A little bit of stress relief too. Good lord at all these bandages, man. I don't think I need bandages. Is there anything we don't need? Potentially food. Uh, I think we call it good. We might miss out on like a curio moving forward, but I'm okay with that. We do have a secret room. 
foolhardy alike. There's a locked compartment on the side of it. Well, let's go ahead and open that locked compartment. Oh, mother of God. Definitely take that one. Uh, goodbye, food. <laughs> Easiest throwaway ever. Uh, we do need gold. We need gold to replenish our reserves here. Uh, let's take a look at the map. We have two more curios. Shovels are pretty handy for that. We want to camp. I mean, honestly, I think we just get rid of that. I mean, that's a pretty easy call, actually, now that I look at it here. And then this room here is where we're going to set up camp. Uh, pop a torch just in case it matters. I don't know if it does or not. We will eat eight food. Stress level's looking pretty decent, actually. Let's see here. One companion reduced stress by 15. Indeed, reduce all companions reduce stress by 10. That's pretty decent. Uh, minus chance party surprise, monster surprise. Prevents nighttime ambush. Could be pretty beneficial, actually. Increase, I don't want to increase stress on anyone, really. Move target bleeding, move target blight. Move target disease. Is anybody diseased? I don't think so. Okay, so I think we're going to focus most of our efforts here on just reducing the stress of our occultist, as a matter of fact. Uh, preferably without increasing the stress of our other companions here. Let's see, four, seven, that'll lead us with three, which will allow us to use battle trance, which is going to do some pretty good damage for us on this boss fight coming up. How many rounds does that last? Four combats, okay. So we will use... This guy here, at least get his stress down to a manageable level. We will use Hound's Watch, and we will use Battle Trance, just to buff us up. We will rest. They will say their things. The match is, struck. The match is in fact, struck. We don't want that. Uh, barnacle Chest, so it's good that we kept a shovel. 400 gold never hurt nobody. And, uh, boss time, basically. Siren, 119. Oh, and you can't do anything from where you are right now. That is... That's not great, actually. Uh, ooh. If not in position one? Oh, it's just a debuff. Okay, that's fine. Let's go and buff our Hellion up, then. Speed is five, so you actually can go forward first. That could be troublesome for us. I think, uh, can we stun you? Not if we don't hit you. What's this? 135% chance. It's maybe worthwhile to do this, but I think the damage is going to outweigh. Oh, go ahead and go again. That's fine. Is this stress? It is stress. Not a huge fan of that, to be perfectly honest with you. Minus damage. The damage just doesn't really concern me too much. We do bonus damage against Eldritch, so I think we go with this. Devour. Gets dodged. I think we just keep hammering away. Our Hellion's doing just an incredible amount of damage. I want to see if we can't stun this boss. Indeed we can. <laughs> it's a little bit, uh, I don't know, it seems, it seems pretty easy to me. Stress goes out, or stun, oh, now you're going to take it, oh, blinding gas? Bro. That's not right, man. Oh, we do get him back, though. Oh, we do not want you to capture our Hellion. That could be really bad for us. Use the holy water. That's what we should have been doing this whole time. Uh, emboldening Vapors, we're gonna put it on our Hellion. Our Hellion's just doing work right now. Uh, use the Holy Water yourself. And then can we, there's a very, very small chance that we get, uh, that we get a stun off here. So I think we just go for the damage. Now as a matter of fact, we should be using Dog Treats here. 
9 to 14, so at least we do a little bit more damage. We do get a bleed, as a matter of fact. Do not take our Hellion. Thank you. You can take our stunned occultist. I don't care about him at all. Oh, get resisted, son. Use a holy water. I don't want to lose you. 17 more damage. Our Hellion is basically just carrying us at this point. <clears throat> High tide. Oh. Oh, you want to play around, man? It's done. <laughs> so ridiculous that we can actually get a stun on these guys. Uh, you are Eldritch. Can we just finish this off? Potentially. Can't really do too much there. We can get some Plague on you. Or some Blight, rather. So you're going to be taking some good damage. And if we can hit, yeah, we can hit. So we're just going to finish that off immediately and just one of these guys isn't going to uh, be too bad for us honestly um, bold made vapors let's just give it to our hellion <clears throat> and we'll just start whacking away at this guy we can do like half his health every turn so just give him a stun too as a matter of fact I think we move our houndmaster back Good stun. And then we uh, just start re relieving some of the stress we've got. Okay, maybe focus on, uh, you know, the people who need it the most. Uh, does anyone need heal? You need to heal. <clears throat> uh, 53, 15, 13. I'd like to get another round out of this, but uh, maybe we just whittle him down to, what is he at? Two hit points now. Uh... Yeah, let's get a little bit more stress relief here. Beautiful. Stun resist 115. I think we just go ahead and uh, do the work here. Seize this momentum. Uh, get rid of the dog tree. We can just take that. And then uh, return to Hamlet. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. Not going to lie. I did not feel too concerned about that. That secret room definitely paid off for us in terms of getting some of that gold back. We got a fair amount of stuff out of there too. Uh, four, well, we really needed some deeds. <clears throat> we got some though. Plague Doctor, it's level three. 20% heal skills while camping. Warren Tactician, Eldritch Hater. Precise striker. So all positive quirks there. I remember days when the sun shone. Not bad at all. Came out there with about sixteen thousand gold, uh, which we will be more than happy to take. Uh, let's see what awaits us here. We still need to go kill the necromancer. <clears throat> that doesn't seem like that great of a trinket could be wrong but it doesn't seem like it just based off the negative aspects of it here uh bounty hunter 100 percent food consumed good lord man hunter's talon uh martyr's seal i hate this trinket it's my least favorite one in the whole game so offer it to me twice please <clears throat> antiquarian item vestal scroll it's the same one as the one up there brigand eight pounder could be the next thing we need to do here. Although the Rampart Shield for the Men at Arms, do we already have this trinket? Indeed we do. Hmm, can't go to the cove. Cove too scary right now. So we'll have to look at here, we'll have to look and see what our best options are. Let's take a look at the stagecoach, see if we got any uh, anybody we want to bring on to the party. Our roster is currently full. Indeed it is. Random trinket. I think we uh, get rid of this antiquarian. This one has become vestigial, useless. Nocturnal. If torch above. Oh, not great. How about the other vestal here? Virtue chance. It's fine. Torch below twenty. That's fine. I think out of the two. 
I'd rather take you. Although you do already have upgrades, so you are pretty valuable. Huh. We really just need to get mine and rid of the minus two speed of torch above 75. That's the only thing there, really. So maybe we do bring you on, as a matter of fact. That seems good to me. And I think that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always. If you did enjoy, hit that like button. If you want to see more, go and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until then, we will see you next episode.